Hello everyone, this is Amity Sensei. Today I want to teach you how to make New Year's cards on your iPad. To create art that looks like it's done with real ink, we are going to use an app called ZenBrush 3. This app has been out for a while, and I've done videos about it before, and it's great for doing calligraphy or art with watercolor effect. Recently, the new version of ZenBrush, ZenBrush 3, was released, so I want to talk a bit about the changes and how to make these great New Year's cards. Let's go ahead and open the app. With ZenBrush, we usually draw pictures or letters with a calligraphy pen, but you can see that at the top there is this bar. ZenBrush 3 added a lot of new features. Let's start with the basics. This is the brush thickness here. If you want to erase something, you can just press this trash can button to return to the blank canvas. This bar in the middle is the opacity of the brush. Make it really dark for instance and it becomes pitch black. You can use this feature to make gradations as well. Next to that is a slider for water content. If you set this to max, you can see how it's bleeding and spreading. It kind of spreads around after you're done drawing. This is a max, but if you set it to dry at the far left, you get a really flaky dry effect. Besides the slider, we have two other buttons. These are the dry buttons. If you want to stop the ink from bleeding or spreading, you can just press this. Basically, ZenBrush 3 lets you do calligraphy and art with lots of options for dryness and color thickness. A brand new feature is actually this color brush here. Before you could only use red or black, but now you can use lots of colors from this little color palette here. I guess you don't really use these colors for calligraphy, but you can use it for complex art or for watercolor paintings. So for art, I think it's really useful. Another new feature is that lots of different background designs and variations have now been added. For example, we have this kind of concrete one here. Gold, silver, lots of different choices. And if you scroll down a little, there is also a 3D category. This is pretty cool. For example, you can use this wooden doll, a fan, and is this ice? You can do your calligraphy on some ice. If you take this wooden doll, you can zoom and rotate it as you want, which really brings out that 3D feel. So go ahead and draw a face or whatever you like. Then if you press the watermark on the top bar, we can blur the writing. Just draw on top of what we just drew. It all kind of dissolves in the water and the wood pillow gets wet. This sort of realism is really cool, so go ahead and play around with it. It might be good for kids as well. If you want to erase something, the eraser tool is on the far right side, and you can erase things with this. From here, we are going to start on our New Year's card in ZenBrush. First, let's pick out our background. This time, we are going to go with this Japanese paper type background from the standard category. Now, this is where we draw the picture of our cow, and cows are generally black and white, so we are going to draw our cow in those colors with this gray ink effect. We also have this new color pen option. We can use this to blend in some blue or purple while we work, so it all bleeds together, making a really pretty effect. So let's go ahead and do that now. The trick is not to do too much all at once. Set the opacity to around 80%, and color in slowly piece by piece. We'll mainly be using the black color, but we'll also use a bit of blue and purple in some places. While you're drawing, you can have a picture of a cow open on the side for a reference. I'm actually looking at my iPhone while I'm doing this right now too, but it's not in the frame so you can't see it. Anyways, if you draw while looking at a picture, it will come out looking really nice. So please use a picture for your reference.
this nose part in particular is pretty hard. If the colors bleed, then the pink of the nose and the black will blend together. So I'm using the dry button while I'm working. But I think the fact that it's not always easy to do everything is one of the nice things about ZenBrush. With Procreate, for example, you can always change the colors or shapes. But with ZenBrush, it's all analog, which is really cool. You've only got one shot. Of course, you can use an eraser and stuff. But I prefer to let the colors bleed and keep drawing without using the eraser. So please give it a try. For the eyes though, you should be really careful. Use a wide thin brush with 100% opacity level for this part. And just like this, our cow picture is finished. I think it came out pretty nice. Now let's put some New Year's card type text in the empty space. Let's use a thin brush this time and write in the top right and the bottom right like this. You can write so neatly in ZenBrush. I'm not really good at writing on the iPad, but with ZenBrush it always comes out nice. So you should give it a try too. Finally, if you add in a little seal drawing, you'll tie the entire thing together. Let's select this scarlet color and draw a square. Once that's finished, grab an eraser tool and erase your name out of the color. In other words, draw your name. This will give a great seal feel. It's good to put one of these in the bottom left or bottom right. Now let's finish this one up. I want to save my work. To do this, we go and choose this icon at the top right and press save. Then if you press this icon again and go to open, the R we just saved will show up. You can load your password from here too. So when you're done, don't forget to press save. And if you want to save in your camera roll, press the expo button at the bottom of the menu here. This will save your R in the camera roll. You can pick the size you want, set it as JPEG, press save, and it will pop up in your camera as a JPEG file. There is also one more setting label ink data. This one saves only the parts you drew as a PIN file. If you press save here and go to our camera roll, we can see it's the same picture, but the background is now transparent. Can you see it? You can use this to save your work as a PIN file with a transparent background. Then you can bring this picture into other apps. Let's open Illustrator for the iPad and choose postcard size. We then open the PIN file using the photo button on the left hand side, and it gets pasted in. Maybe if you want to choose a custom color for the background, you can put a color at the very back and choose a new color. There's also the gradation tool. Use this and you can put in a nice gradation that spreads out from the center, like this. This option will let you use your art in other apps too, so make sure and see how you can use the pin data feature with your own work. We just saved this a little while ago, so once we press open and make sure the data is there, we can press the trash can icon to get rid of it and draw something new. And if you want to bring that old picture back, you just go to open and load your cow picture again. This is all you need to know about saving with ZenBrush. Alright, that's it for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I make videos on tips and hacks of iPad, so please do that too. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!